This video is how to use Weebly for Education as an online class tool. The website is education.weebly.com. You'll need to start by either creating a Weebly account or logging into one if you already have one. Once logged in, it will bring you to this main page. From here, you can access your sites, your students and your student sites, as well as your account information. I have already created a site to use for this demonstration. I titled it Conversational English and it is designed as an online course. This is the home page where I have put some information, you can put more if you'd like, as well as an introduction box. I have created multiple pages to go along with this. There is one greeting introduction where I have added a YouTube video as well as the dialogue, if I'd like I can add more, that goes in the YouTube video. I also have a hello page and a goodbye page which are linked to my student sites that I had them create. Obviously for this demonstration I've created all the sites. From here they can create different pages as well for their own sites. I have also created a link for homework and tests. Under the homework link I have placed what the assignments are as well as documents that the students are able to download and complete and then upload in the email homework section that will be directly emailed to my personal email. Under the test page I have created a sample test it's very small obviously. This is actually an information form that Weebly created to collect data that I have changed into a test and I can show you how to do that later. And now back to your main site. You're going to want to click Add Site, and it will prompt you for a title of your site, as well as the type of site that it is, Education, and the category, Teacher. Right now you can either enter in a subdomain that you would like, or you can continue on without doing that, and you can add that site later. This page will pop up immediately after you enter in whatever subdomain you would like. This is the basic page that everyone gets. From here you can change the design under the design button. While you can edit the HTML, it might be easier if you just click any design you feel comfortable with. Once you have selected a design that you like, you can move back to elements where you can add any of these different things. Weebly has made it easy. You select what you'd like, a text paragraph, place it in, and then you click there to edit. You're now going to want to click on the pages tab to add secondary pages to your website. Unfortunately these secondary pages will have the same layout as your original design page. I use the assignment form to create my test. By editing the form options as well as the different form selections, I was able to create a makeshift test. Once you are finishing designing the basic website content that you would like, click the publish button. From here you will need to choose the subdomain name that you would like if you had not done that already. You can enter in whatever subdomain you would like, as long as it's available. By clicking the close button, you will return to the original Weebly main site. From here you will be able to edit your site, as well as do other things. Now click on the My Student button. From here you will add a class. After filling in whatever you would like, you either make it public or private, you will create the class. You will now click the Add a Student button and enter in your student's name. Weebly will then either come up with a user's name for your student or they can choose their own. Have the student enter in a password and you add them to your class. By clicking their name, you will get your student's sites as well as their statistics in your class. You may add up to 40 students 
for free, and then you'll have to pay for the Weebly Pro. Once you have all of the course content that you would like on your site, it is ready to go and you are ready to start a class.